is Panasonic's new autofocus system going to be based off of LiDAR, a joint venture between Panasonic and DJI? Or a new phase detect autofocus system announced for a camera coming out in Q1 2023? That's based off of phase detect. Details coming up, but first, I encourage you to subscribe and choose all notifications so that way you can stay up to date on all the latest camera gear, news, and rumors. According to Camera Beta, it looks like Panasonic and DJI are jointly testing a new focusing method. The new system is set to utilize LiDAR focus technology released in the Ronin 4D. LiDAR, right? Yeah, interesting, plausible, but still a rumor. A rumor that hasn't been validated by anybody. But still, there's been an awful lot of noise since around September. Well, actually going back to the spring, talking about a new face detect autofocus system that Panasonic is researching. And then in September, Yamani said that they're researching a new face detect autofocus system. They're researching new autofocus systems that are more reliable than depth from defocus. And one of the things he said is that in terms of that research, because he was pressed and asked, well, how far along is this research? He held up his hands and did something like this. And then the person interviewing him said, so I can assume from that the way your hands are that we're 80% there, to which Yamani laughed, but in a good way and not a bad way. But then just a couple of weeks ago, we got this from Panasonic, an announcement of a new PTZ camera. And that in itself isn't interesting. That it's going to be coming out in Q1 2023, also not interesting. But this is. The AWUE160 is equipped with a newly developed phase detect autofocus system. Okay, so that's key. It's a newly developed phase detect autofocus system. Could Panasonic, after all these years, be developing two different phase detect autofocus systems or two brand new autofocus systems? Sure, it's plausible, but yeah, I, I know what you're thinking. But let's get back to the quote because what comes up next? Well, sounds really good too. That enables high speed focusing and can be used to shoot fast moving subjects. You see why this is getting interesting? Again, this is on Panasonic's website. This isn't a rumor. It doesn't need any validation. You can find it on the website talking about a newly developed phase detect autofocus system. So could they be working on two new autofocus systems for their Lumix cameras? One for PTZ and one for their Stills hybrid? Sure, it's plausible. But what we know at this point is that Panasonic has released a new face detect autofocus system that's designed for fast moving subjects. That's a fast focusing new system and it's phase detect. We know that. We know that now. We just don't know if that's going to be in the new S series cameras when they're announced. And I'll get to the S series cameras shortly about this LiDAR based focus system. Well, it's a rumor. It's coming from camera beta and it hasn't been validated. But do you know what's truly interesting here is all the news, rumors, and information that we're getting this year about Panasonic is pointing towards a new focusing system. Matt Frazier at the beginning of the year talking about the GH6 and why they didn't put in a new face detect autofocus system, talking about while a face detect autofocus system does provide better focusing, it has issues and there are better ways or technologies to pursue but didn't go further. And then, of course, in September, Yamani gave another interview talking about a new phase detect autofocus system or a new autofocus system that they're working on to replace the FD autofocusing that they said are about 80% there. And then, of course, we're hearing this rumor from camera beta. It's an awful lot of information pointing to, well, a new system, something better than a contrast detect, depth from defocus. I mean, it's right there in the name, depth from defocus autofocus system that I'm truly excited, and I bet you are too, that something might be happening this spring that might be, it's been four years since Panasonic announced the S1 and the S1R, and then shortly after that, the S1H. We are due for a refresh, and I'm really hoping, and I'm betting, and I'm super excited to hear, to believe, to think, <sighs> a new phase detect autofocus system. I don't care if it's LiDAR, I don't care if it's phase detect, as long as they're throwing out the depth from defocus autofocus system, I think that's huge. So let's quickly sum things up. And if you're one of those people that skipped the entire beginning of this video, please go back and watch it after this. But let's sum things up here. Number one, Yamani, the director of Panasonic's imaging department, has said that Panasonic is researching and is 80% there towards a new focus system. And number two, they've already announced a brand new autofocus system that's going to be coming out in Q1 2023 in a PTZ camera that supports fast moving subjects and that's fast at autofocusing. 
And last but not least, we hear about a new LiDAR-based autofocus system that's a joint development project between Panasonic and DJI. I'd like to quote an old adage here, where there's smoke, there's fire. And that's why I'm so happy because I love Panasonic cameras. I really wanted to get the GH5, but being a one-man filming crew, and no, I don't have a rigging guy behind here. I don't have a lighting guy there. I don't have a guy waiting upstairs for me to finish this video so we can put everything together. It's just me. So having the camera do what it's supposed to do, the lighting system do what they're supposed to do, the storage, everything work matters. And having an autofocus system in Panasonic Lumix cameras that's reliable and trustworthy, oh, I'm super excited about that. And they'll break out of their 4.4% market share based on the recent numbers we heard from 2021, 4.4% market share. And if you're pretty excited and you love camera news and rumors, well, you're gonna to wanna to stick around for my live stream coming up later today, or it might be tomorrow, depending on what time zone you're in. But what time is it here? It's almost 10, so I'll probably have this out later Thursday, but most of you watching right now are probably already in Asia and it's already Friday. But in that live stream, it's a special Black Friday live stream, and I'm not gonna spend the entire video talking about Black Friday sales. There are a ton of sales this time around, huge number of sales, unlike anything we've seen in the past couple of years. So I'm gonna spend about five or 10 minutes talking about those, but then I have a pair of very special guests. One of them is a photographer and he is the founder and editorial director of Canon Rumors, Craig Blair. And coming up just after him is somebody very special, somebody that I respect an awful lot, somebody that does, he's one of the go-to people when it comes to new cameras. As soon as a new camera is announced, like Canon did with the Canon EOS R6 Mark II, immediately his video review dropped on the pre-production model and that's Gordon Lang of Camera Lab. So I'm gonna have him on for an hour. We're gonna talk about very, well, we're gonna talk about an awful lot of stuff. I don't wanna give away everything right now. And of course, we'll be taking viewer questions. So that is coming up later today, not or tomorrow, depending on where you are. It's gonna be 9 a.m. New York time. That's Eastern Standard Time. We're not on daylight savings anymore. 9 a.m. Friday, November the 25th. And in the meantime, if you wanna stay up to date on the latest camera news and rumors, and you don't wanna miss anything, Please go ahead and choose, or choose, please go ahead and click subscribe, followed by choosing all notifications. By choosing all notifications, as soon as I publish a new video like this, or I do a live stream, you'll get notified by YouTube. So that way you can stay up to date on all the latest camera news and rumors. So that way you don't have to spend all your valuable time scrubbing the latest Twitter feeds, RSS feeds, scanning all your favorite websites, YouTube channels, print magazines, because I cover all the major camera brands, all the major camera models, news, rumors, and reviews all here in one spot. So please go ahead and subscribe and choose all notifications. But that's it for now. Don't forget my live stream at 9 a.m. November the 25th, Eastern Standard Time. It's already scheduled. So um, yeah, it's, you know, I'll flip this up right here. This is the thumbnail that I've got and it's already scheduled. So go ahead and click on that and notify yourself. So once I go live, well, it's gonna be an interesting show. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.